Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm back out at Woody's Bike Park. I'm on my giant Trans X again. Loving this thing, but just want to see what it's like on actual trails and some actual normal bike park jumps instead of just the compound. So yeah, let's get straight into it. She's like onto normal jumps and trails. Oh, fresh turn. Oh, because it's so small, it does seem to corner quite tight, which is pretty sick. All right, let's go into my favorite track. So obsession on this one. Old Dennis the Menace. Covered in bird poo, but yeah. I actually came with the digger the other day and re steepen this one up so you can get some good cornering on this one. So yeah, let's uh, have a rip down Dennis the Menace and see how she handles it. I reckon she's going to be lovely. Yeah, not much more to say apart from ride it. Get the clips. Let's go. Whoa! Oh. oh, it is real nice to ride this bike. Oh, a oh, little suey. Oh, I love that track. I'm loving this bike. It is cornering so tight, I think it's because it's so short. You can lean it into some corners, insane, and it just wants a track. I'm loving it. Probably not the best kind of thing over like rougher tr terrain, but the stuff that I ride it is definitely a good tool for the job. I'm loving this bike, even on like tight turns because of how small it is. You don't feel like the bike's lagging behind you, it's like right where you want it to be, which is sick. And obviously in the air, it's the same size as my dirt jump bike, so it's amazing. But next to me here, there was four big rollers and you can jump between them. So double, double into this last turn. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. Right. Let's give this a good go. Oh my God. I had zero way of braking there. There was no grip whatsoever. I'll try it again and actually try and get around the corner. Oh my God, that was terrifying. <laughs> try that again. I forgot the technique. You gotta go like really wide on the first one and then like cut across and try and land where my bike is now to actually get into the corner. Cause you can see where I was skidding. I was right down the inside. There's no chance in hell I was going to make that corner. All right, let's try again. All right, let's give this another good go. So outside to inside. Kind of work. Kind of good to happen. Kind of counts. Kind of get around the corner. Took off a little bit, but you are coming in very fast. Oh, this thing's sick. All right, what other silly things can we do? Oh, we've got the table. Let's try a couple of tricks on this, shall we? Go for a nice little tuck no hander. And then like a flat spinny thing on the next one, I reckon. That'll work lovely. Yeah, it tricks as nice on these as it does on the airbag. Bloody lovely. Uh, 
Try to think of some fun gaps, something I could try and do, potentially. Um, there's a very big jump just there I could have a go at. Should you have a look at that one? Yeah, let's have a look at a big jump. Just for those who want to know where to start to session the 50 here at Willys, if you walk up through the meadow, come across the black, so the one that leads into the 50, gives you the right trail speed and you don't have to sit on the red and drop in. They actually put a fence up again, so you can't just drop in from there. So you have to come up here, a few corners, a few little extra jumps, but it sets the trail speed right, so you have the right speed then for the 50 footer, so you don't go in too fast or too slow. You should have the right amount of speed as long as you clear everything correctly. Um, yeah, and this is a kind of little start platform. We might get them to like mow in a nice little area for you guys so you actually have an idea of where to start. Make things a little bit safer for everyone. Yeah. Wrapping in. I felt sick. All right, I'll do that again. I'll try and trick this last one because she has got a bit of loft to her. I'll try and do something cool on there. All right, let's see what I can do on that last one. I think I might just give it a good flip. Go for a classic. It's mellower than I thought it was. That was quite a pull in the end. But it came round. That's all we wanted. It's quite a nice size jump this. It's quite a nice warm up jump for the big boy behind you, Mike. There's obviously the monster that I scraped out last at the start of the month. So we'll get over to that one in a minute, I think, and have a go on that one, see what she's like. I'm trying to think of somewhere else we could go to. Try and do some little manoeuvres or something. Um, go down to the mulch jump, have a little play down there for a bit. Let's do that. Have a little mulchy sesh. Mini mulch. Over to the mulch, just give it a nice little test little suicide or something, see what the landing is like and what condition it's in, and then we'll go from there. Oh wow! That landing's been actually rebuilt, which is quite nice. I definitely don't need to go that fast. I felt like I was missing half the landing, but it looks like someone's actually done some shaping down here and moved the mulch around. Because it was extremely flat and now it's actually got a landing to it, so... Let's do a couple tricks. Let's start off easy and we'll work up to a couple bangers. Start off a bit easy, it's good for us to decide. Actually do it this time. Really enjoying the Surrey at the minute. Especially on the big bikes. Don't really enjoy them on the dirt jump bikes too much, but on these, because the seat is so high, it feels quite nice. Right. Gone and opened my big mouth instead of do a straight bar spin. I hate bar spins. Just for the record. Oh, come on, pinch your knees, throw the bars. Don't think about it, just do it. Oh. oh, I don't know why I hate them so much. They just terrify me and I don't know why. Oh. 
definitely easier on a bigger bike because there's a lot more bike to hold underneath you, but still not, not an enjoyable trick for myself. All right. Um, let's do a 360 and then I might be able to do a 360 bar spin. I'd rather do a bar spin in a 360 than straight, just to clarify. After moaning the whole time then about not, being, not enjoying doing bar spins. All right. Let's do a 360. Whoa. Whoa. I did like a flat drop three, it wasn't like a normal three, but rode it out, it's all good. Alright, try and add that bar spin then. What's the worst that can happen? Oh yeah, free pain fields, miss your holiday, can't go to crankworks. Oh yeah, that's, that's what happens. Oh yeah, brilliant. It's all for your pleasure. Why did you have to go and open your big mouth? All right. Oh! Oh! <laughs> if you watch that back, when I throw the bar, as I roll my hand around, I grab all the front brake and stop oh! my front wheel. Horrible feeling, but I landed it, so I'm happy. All right, I think that's enough silliness for this jump. Let's go back up there and go to the really big, big one that I opened up a couple of weeks ago. I'll have a little session on that. How does that sound? Yeah, it does sound good, doesn't it? Let's go do that. How oh, is that greenery already growing through this? <laughs> yeah, I literally refaced this not even two weeks ago and there's already grant, plant, grants, plants growing through it. Nature's amazing. But yeah, me and Morgan came down the other day and slapped it up. It's always had another good baking from the sun, so it's gone pretty hard. Gave it a good test. I did actually jump it. So yeah, let's uh, open it up and have another little session on this thing. Need to clear the shrubbery out from in the middle, but you jump over that and need to trim the tree. It's a little bit close, but be right for a couple of little jumps. Find you a little spot to stand there, mate. All right, so this jump is actually closed. It's not open to the public. Um, so please do not do what I'm doing now. I am allowed to ride this. It's not open for everyone. There will be some summer sessions, hopefully this year, and we can get it opened up for people to ride it. But for right now, it's still being tested and we're trying to work out if it's working or not. So yeah, please do not remove the stakes and ride it. Please. <laughs> All right, wind's good, I'm good, are you good? Who knows? Let's find out. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, she's lofty. She's got some pop, now she's firmed up. This bike is sick, I handled it absolutely amazing. Sick, all right. All right, give it a go. <laughs> that was just a flip really, I didn't do much barrel roll or underspin, under but so just to rotate it to be honest oh she's poppy she's a very poppy i might have to mellow that out a bit for people to come down on big bikes again we're still testing it so don't do not ride it because there's a chance you will get hurt please please don't ride it So good to have a big jump here again. Something I could do some tricks on, stoked. But I really want to throw down some more tricks for you and actually do some more stuff. But in under a week's time, I go to Germany and then on to Crankworks. So I've got Dirt Masters. I'll be there if you want to come see me. 
and I'm going to Crankworx Cans in Australia. So I don't really want to get hurt. So no point in risking myself when I've got quite a lot going on. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.